wonderful morning to you all. Welcome back to Sonnet Institute of Technology. My name is Bruce Malaudzi and I'm your instructor for the hands-on pen testing course. This is portal 2.2 of the video course. In this demonstration, I will show you how to exploit a Windows XP host using the Samba vulnerability. Earlier on, we used Nmap to scan for live hosts and we found that there were two hosts that were live. One was a CentOS machine on the dot eleven, and the other one was in a Windows XP on the dot thirteen. Um, so for this purpose or for this demonstration, I would like to target a Windows XP machine. So I will use Metasploit framework, uh, and Metasploit framework is pre-installed in Kali Linux or Backtrack and other security uh, Linux distros as well. So in this demonstration, I will do uh, major things or stuff. First of all, I will get into the Windows XP host and take the remote uh, admin shell and gain full access as well. Secondly, I can then create a user and connect to the Windows XP via RDP and gain full access as well. Nezas is a good tool for scanning for Microsoft Windows vulnerabilities, but Nezas is not free. So without wasting time, let's get to the GNS3 topology and see what we have. On our GNS3 topology, we found out that the dot .11 is a CentOS machine and the dot .13 is a Windows. And this is our Kali box with the dot .12. So at this moment, uh, I've switched off the CentOS machine to reserve resources because I don't need it for this demonstration. So I have the Windows machine right here, the dot thirteen. So before we start attacking, let's get to the Windows machine and see what we have. So on the Windows machine, I'm logged in, and I'd like to show you the users which are currently currently configured so i'll go to control panel and user account come down to user account as well so i currently have bruce as an admin and the guest account is off so without the guest account it means this box there's only one user named bruce so i can log out and start the attack so I can log off here okay I'm logged off so let me minimize that window and on the color box I can log in Okay, on the Kali box, I have to start the Metasploit. So if you're using Kali 2, uh, please don't start your Met Metasploit framework uh, like this. Because your, you will have no connectivity to the database. So if you're using Kali, 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 uh, Kali Linux version 2 and above, please don't do that. The right way is to do this. That will be a user bin and with the split console and then start. It might take a while to start. Okay, so the next thing is to check if you are connected to the database. That would be db underscore status. Okay, I am connected to the database, so I'm good to go. 
uh, the next thing we used to, we need to um, to use the Samba um, vulnerability so is to set my my exploit so I'll say use exploit windows is Samba which is SMB and my exploit is MS8 067 net RP. Once I do that, then I can set my payload. So that would be payload. Uh, the payload is uppercase. So that would be Windows. Uh, Metapreter. And I like to do a reverse uh, TCP connection. So which means the, um, the remote shell, the Windows uh, command shell will actually be presented on my shell. So which means I gain full remote access. So now I need to set the uh, local host IP, the local host port, uh, the remote host IP and the remote host port. So that can be done with set local host that's uppercase and the IP local host the IP of this Kali box this Kali box has got an IP of 192.168.1.12 and I can set the local port so I like to use port 444 now let me set the uh, the remote host IP so our Windows XP is sitting on 192.168.1.13 and the Samba services is using port 445 so that will be set uh, remote set remote port that's uppercase so 445 is the remote port that Samba uses. Once I'm done, I need to check if my configurations are correct. So that will be show options. So I have my remote host here. So this is the IP to the Windows XP. And then I have remote port, that's 445. That is the... Uh, port that some SMB or Samba uses and then I've got my local host and my local port here so once I'm done and I'm happy with this I can exploit so let me clear the screen for now so once I'm happy I can exploit meaning I can launch the attack so let me launch the attack so the command is exploit Okay, so once you see this message saying Metapreter Session 1 opened, it means your exploit or your attack was successful. So if I type the command shell, I am in a Windows machine right now. And if I do the, these are the files within the Windows machine. And I am in the root system of the Windows machine, that is System32. So at this at this point of time, I have full control of the remote Windows machine and I can navigate, uh, create users, do almost anything uh, to this. So this is, this is our uh, end of part one that is gaining a uh, full uh, remote shell. So in the next part, I'm going to show you how we can create a user and then enable uh, RDP uh, on the remote host so that we can gain GUI uh, on the remote host as well. So 
I can exit from here back to Metaprater. Let me clear the screen. Uh, before I go, let me go back to the shell, to the Windows shell. And as you can see here, I am in the Windows shell. And if I do IP config, you can see that I am in the dot 13. Let me exit from this um, and back to the metaprater, clear the screen. So now I need to um, to start the goal. So the easiest way um, is to run the script. So there is a script called get goal. So if I do minus H, it's going to show me the options. Yeah, the options. So I like to do the uh, run get going minus e. Okay, what this script is doing right now is it's enabling remote desktop on the target machine, and it found out that the target machine remote desktop is already enabled. So we are good to go. What I need to do now is to um, is to add a user with the password, and then we'll add a DP into that. Get GUI. Sorry, it's run get GUI minus U. So the username, let's call him uh, Red Hat with the password of. Um, Password one two three. Okay, and the hash. Okay, so a user rated has been added and is under administrators. And we created a password as well as password one two three hash. So can I connect to the remote machine using RDP? Yes, I can. So that will be um, start another terminal. Let me start another terminal shell so that I can RDP open terminal. And let me zoom in. Okay, remember that we created a user rated and the user's password is P A S. Please take note there. All right, it's W W. Okay, so let's go and connect. So the command is our desktop. Minus U. The name of the user is Red Hat, and the password is uppercase P A S W W O R D one two three with the hash, and the IP of the Windows machine that is the one nine two dot one sixty eight dot one dot thirty. Okay, it's connecting and looks like I'm connected. As you can see, I am connected and this proves that I am a new user and everything is getting um, loaded for the first time. So basically, this is how you connect to a Windows uh, remote machine. So you can see that there is uh, some color loss because I'm connected through the terminal right here. So on the other side, uh, the user Bruce doesn't know or doesn't see that his machine has been compromised. And if you go under users uh, on the control panel, uh, this user Bruce won't be able to see the user um, rated.
that has been created so if the user Bruce goes in uh, there and goes to control panel goes to users the user rated is not even there so this user Bruce won't see that his machine has been compromised and it's this is how you actually um, exploit a Windows XP using this Samba um, vulnerability so in the next videos I'll show you how to do it on Windows 7 or Windows 8 or even on the um, Windows Server 2008 or 2012 but some of the uh, methods or methodology is a bit complex and they need a lot of uh, technical skills and knowledge so I hope this has been informative and I would like to thank you for watching. Goodbye.